Hi, we're back again. I said last time we were going to take the pearl earrings that we made and we were going to add some color to them. So, just to make it a little bit easier, we are going to take the fish hooks off. You can try and do it with them on, but I think that would be a little difficult when you go to try and lay them down to dry. I've already made a few. I did this little guy with confetti fingernail polish that I bought at the dollar store. And I did these with some metallic purple that I bought there. I bought my, went to a dollar store and bought the confetti, the purple. And the one I'm going to use to show you how I did it is the silver. And now I see you can't see them very well, so let's move them back. There you go. Anyway, you don't have to spend a lot to make jewelry. All right. I'm still using the pearls that I got from Goodwill. They're fake. They're not real. Um, you, I got my husband's tools. Uh, here's another one. And one of my husband's old paintbrushes that he pretty much has ruined. It doesn't make very good tiny marks. So if you're looking for something delicate to paint on there, I wouldn't recommend using an old paintbrush. I would recommend using a brand new one, which I didn't do. Now, you can either hold them with your fingers like this, or if you're planning to do a lot of coverage all over them, you can actually go like, whoops, you can actually go like that. And it gives you more area to cover if you want. But I'm not doing that much, so I'm just going to hold them with my fingers. I've already shook up my nail polish. And we're just going to gently make some designs on here. I'm not going overboard on it. In fact, it's such a a fine. Oh, there we go. Now we can see it. A fine and thin nail polish that I might even when I'm done do it again just to make it a little bit darker, make show up more. I do find that if you are going to make crisscross on it, do one side, then go to the opposite side and do the other one. You also need to kind of make them go up the sides a little bit. If you put it too close to the bottom, you're not, nobody's going to see your design. Okay. Now, I don't know if you can see that very well. Yes, my hand is shaking. We sold our house. We will be moving, so it's going to be a little while before I get back to doing this. I was hoping to have a couple taped. So that while I was gone, I could just download them. But that can happen. Still might be able to, maybe. We'll see. Okay, now I'm feathering this out a little bit around the bottom. Just to make some definition. It doesn't take very long to do this. And I was bad when I started this. I didn't tell you what you needed. While I was at the dollar store, I also got a bottle of nail polish. So right now, I am into these earrings. Hmm. And I haven't made all of them that I can make yet. 
but I would say they're running me about, well, about 40 cents a, p a pair. Okay, let's do this one. Now, if your paintbrush is starting to get goopy or weird or just doesn't want to do what it's supposed to, I poured a little bit of the nail polish into the lid, and I've used that kind of like to wash it off with, and then trusty paper towel. Now you got a nice point again. So let's dip, and we're going to do it again. I live in Skamania, and there's actually a lady up here who makes beautiful hand-painted jewelry. And of course, at this moment, I cannot think of her name. But she goes to a lot of the bazaars and farmers markets and like that. But she does paintings of the gorge and wildlife of the gorge on her jewelry. Usually they're lockets. They're quite nice. Oh, that one worked out a lot faster. I don't know why. You can always add more if you feel like you need more on there. But you can't take it off very easily, depending on the jewelry. Now, if this was real pearls, you probably could. It probably would damage it a little bit. But like plastic, plastic in nail polish tends to dissolve. Just for your information. Okay, so don't try and clean your jewelry with nail polish. You might be able to lightly remove it with a paper towel or q tip. There we go, we got another one done. Okay, see, that didn't take very long at all, did it? Uh, they make great gifts, that last minute gift thing. They'll take about, I let them dry at least 10 minutes, uh, just to be sure. And I'll probably add a little bit more purple to the purple ones just because I want them to stand out a little bit more. This will be my last video for a little while. I hope you like them. Uh, remember, you can go Goodwill, Garage Sales, Dollar Store. I do recommend getting your tools like at Harbor Freight. Um, they have a brand, they have a gray handle, it comes in a kit. While you won't need all the tools in them, in the long run, if you do very much jewelry making, it pays to buy them. I think I paid $14 for the full kit. I used four of the tools that's in it. I gave the rest to my husband because I didn't need them. And I have not had to replace those at all. Whereas my Ones like this that I have gotten at Craft Warehouse, stuff like that, they tend to fall apart. They are nice to use. They do fit a woman's hand a little bit better if you have small hands, which I do. But I like the firm grip of the Harbor Freight tools. Again, we're done for a while. Uh, hopefully I'll get another video up. Until then, have a good Halloween.